As a team, celebrity chefs and television personalities Jada De Laurentiis and Bobby Flay are a delight to watch. The duo can be really entertaining on camera thanks to the fact that they share a great connection off camera. Nowhere was that better displayed than when they worked together on the show Bobby and Jada in Italy in 2019, before the pandemic began. The engaging show took viewers on a fun ride in Italy as they watched Flay and De Laurentiis sample several dishes and explore different parts of the picturesque European country. So why did De Laurentiis need a break? To understand why she needed to get away from her co-host, it helps to understand that the project was Flay's idea to begin with. He came up with the concept for the show and realized that De Laurentiis would be a great co-host to have while filming, given that she was born and raised in Italy and knows the place better than many. Still, it was Flay's baby, which is why he got top billing. De Laurentiis told Parade, it was really his passion project, and I was lucky enough to go with him. And he was just like, we really need to um, do a trip together in Italy and shoot it. And I said, oh, you just want a free vacation? Is that what's happening here? And the show made a point to show the pair not just working together, but engaging in interesting conversations with the locals as well. Still, despite their chemistry, De Laurentiis said that she needed to get away and recharge, in part because she was playing second banana. She said, He's a good traveling companion, but there were days where I was like, okay, I've had enough of him. I need my own time. But that's also what happens when you put two people together who are both used to being the boss and the star, and then they're asked to share. Still, that shouldn't be misconstrued as some kind of beef between the two. Flay and De Laurentiis are known for their great chemistry together, which has been on display since they first met at an event in Philadelphia in 2004. De Laurentiis said that is very real, adding, I think that Bobby is one of those people that if you are his friend, he has your back forever and he will stand up for you. But De Laurentiis herself is such a competitor that it sometimes gets in the way of even their great relationship. In 2006, they teamed up for an episode of Iron Chef America. Unfortunately, they didn't win the competition against chefs Rachel Ray and Mario Batali. It wasn't the loss, though, that set De Laurentiis off. It was that Flay wasn't as angry as she was. She told People that he, quote, half-assed it. He didn't think it was any big deal that we lost. I did not talk to him for eight months. I did not. Nothing. Silence. I thought, you're a jerk and I'm never, I never want to be around you again. Now, of course, we're best buddies and we hang out, but luckily they patched it up before filming Bobby and Jada in Italy, which was definitely an experience worth remembering. Flay told Variety that he had never been to Tuscany before working on the show. He enjoyed himself to the fullest, taking in the different sights and sounds while feasting on local dishes. Flay said, it was a really nice getaway. It was almost like, we're in New York City, and then we're going to the Hamptons. Also, Flay and De Laurentiis got the opportunity to really connect with each other as they were living in the same villa with their crew. De Laurentiis said, We said goodnight every evening and had breakfast all together every day. It's like nothing we'd done before. Flay mentioned that he really enjoyed De Laurentiis's company in Italy. He said, We were just in a great mood the entire time. We got along great. We always have a great time together. Sounds like that time off worked out great for both of them. We did spend days where we were separated. Thank goodness, yeah. like any relationship, it's good to have some breaks from each other. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.